Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading I'm the Queen in This Life, episode 19. I I love this read. My problem is that they use a lot of big words that I cannot pronounce very well and I feel very embarrassed about it, but I hope you guys bear with me as I do intend on pausing just so I can Google the word and make sure I pronounce it correctly. I tend to also teach myself but also teach you guys of the word and its meaning. So if you guys are okay with that, feel free to follow me. <laughs> but okay, anyways, uh, is, uh, here we go. We hereby extend to your esteemed personage our most cordial invitation to the art exhibi exhibition at the Salon. With the compliments of prominent merchants from the Republic of Porto, the Salon is pleased to showcase priceless works of art on the last Friday of August. The exhibition will be attended by luminaries from many noble households, including His Royal Highness Prince Alfonso himself. We hope to present a valuable opportunity for you to make plenty of lasting acquaintances. To Lady Ariadne de Mer. With my highest regards, Merchantess Alejandra de Chibalt. Clean, clean. Alfonso will be there? She's blushing, okay. Malara? Were there no other invitations in the mail? I'm afraid not, my lady. Uh, mm -mm. Night, do you plan on attending Mercerness de Chabot Salon? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't dream of telling you not to go, but this is a rather delicate time, don't you see? For one, you haven't ha even had your debut yet. You won't be allowed to attend without a chaperone. She's not wrong for once. You're quite right. Then... <laughs> Speaking of which... It's about time that Ariane had her own debut debutante ball. A debutante ball? I'm the Queen in This Life, Episode 19. Father, how could she possibly have her debutante ball now? This year's season has already ended. Father, are you suggesting... Debutantes. Each year in April, noble sons and daughters gather amid the spring blossoms to visit the royal palace and pay their respects to the king and queen. Those who are unable to attend to the subsequent ball due to their travels or ailment, ailments, sometimes held debutantes balls of their own to announce their formal entry into high society. However, this was a special privilege usually reserved for high-ranking members of the ar aristocracy. Aristocracy? Aristocracy. Hold on. It's a hard one. Aristocracy. Arist oh, wait, hold on. I'm trying to... Aristocracy. Arist... Stop? Aristocracy. Aristocracy. I'm not gonna get that. There's no way. Aristocracy. It pretty much means the highest, cl the highest class in certain societies, especially those holding hereditary titles or offices. I love this read, but man, the big words. Sh surely she's not worthy of such an honor. Your younger sister has as much of a right to represent the Demer household as you do. Once she's formally debuted to society, she'll face fewer restrictions, which will allow her to raise our family's standing even further. If she's getting her blasted debutante ball no matter what, then I can at least stop her from attending Lady De Ch Chibu Chibout Chibalt Salon. Uh, 
Oh, how unfortunate. That means she won't be attending Marchioness de Chabot's uh, salon in that case. Even if we start re preparing for the ball now, it won't be ready until autumn at the earliest. Huh. And we all know she can't attend the salon without a chaperone before then. <laughs> your, your eminence. Uh, I'm afraid I won't be attending Lady Dechabar's salon either. This heat has taken a toll on my health. My body aches and so does my head. I wonder if I ought to have a physician take a look at me. Ugh, must you fall ill at such an uh, inopportune time? Your Eminence, Mother. Uh, I wouldn't dream of imposing on Mother while she's unwell. That would be so selfish of me. Oh, really? Oh, what a shame. Then I'll take you won't be going. I'm sure you'll have other opportunities to meet His Highness. Actually... <gasps> My lady, I'm so glad you got to go to the Lady Dead Chip... Chibat Salon in the end. Oh, do you have a taste for fine art, Sancho? That's not what I meant, my lady. I meant His Highness the Prince will be attending the salon today. Mm. I wonder if she we should have gone for something a bit flashier, my lady. Oh. And there will be so many eligible bachelors there, like so and so. <laughs> Come on now, Sancha. You're getting rather ahead of yourself. Having said that, like Sancha said, I'm grateful that I was able to attend the salon. Madame Romani, might I trouble to attend the salon as my chaperone? <gasps> it would be my pleasure, Miss Ariadne. I'd like to purchase some paintings today. The emerging artists who will be at the auction today will suddenly soar in stock next year. And within a few years, they'll become master painters in the employ of the Holy See. It will be a prudent investment at the very least. Buy low, sell high. Smart. But most importantly, I'll get to see Victoria Nike. Victoria Nike is a statue of the ancient goddess of victory, Nike. Its sheer beauty and intact preservation leads, lends its value beyond compare. In my previous life, it was purchased by a wealthy noble who wished to flaunt it by placing it on display in the front courtyard before the main gates of his manor. Before long, however, an excerpt from the travels journals of ancient writer Halicardotus was discovered in which he noted, the delicate wings of the goddess had already been damaged beyond repair, with only one wing remaining intact for display. Her head and left arm had also disappeared without a trace. Yet, the statue was left on display as the battle scars borne by the victorious Nike, too, were worthy memorials of triumph over the grueling horrors of the Celestphonic Celes War. In other words, the version of Victoria Nike purchased by the noble was nothing but a fake. The, rele the, rele the revelation viewed the San Carlo rumor mill for quite some time. Not to mention scholars who heatedly debated the authenticity of this statue. This ought to be the most entertainment I've had in a while. I do relish the drama every now and, and again. <laughs> <laughs> Announcing Lady Ariadne de Mer, the second daughter of Cor Cardinal de Mer. Whoa. <gasps> well, it's apparent who's the prettier sister is. I'll say she's comely enough, no? I heard she's only Lady Isabella's half-sister. 
Yes, quite. I wonder where the eldest Demir girl got her looks when Lucrezia herself is no goddess. Oh, but dang, they say some stuff. Well, I'm used to fending for myself by now. At least that hasn't changed since my previous life. Time to check out the buffet table. Oh my, here comes his highness. Oh. Everyone's like gathered around him and she just got the sideline. I'll while away the time in the garden until the auction begins. I don't want Alfonso to see me. When I'm all alone with no one to keep me company. I don't want him to see me. Like this. Rodney. Huh? All eyes are on her now, oh my gosh. Long time no see. It's good to see you, Alfonso. You know what's so sad? Is that her first life, before she was here, or reborn again, I guess, she was the one who gave him poison and like, Literally unalive him. And now here they are. It's just crazy. Alright guys, if you guys enjoyed the way I read this, I'm sorry. I love this read. I just, I dread it whenever I have to read it and record it because I know for, I can't pronounce a lot of these big words and they don't sound the way it looks. So... I'm sorry, please be patient with me. But if you guys enjoyed the way I read this, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, drop some comments, and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye!